Stocks had a rough week last week, marking the worst it's had since the start of the year. And there is potential for it to get even worse. Just the anticipation of economic data that is about to come out this week has investors seriously on edge. Wall Street has been anxious since last week about the Consumer Price Index or CPI that's due out on Tuesday. And not to mention the government's retail sales report also comes out on Wednesday. And then the producer price index is out on Thursday. But what if there's really nothing to worry about? What if inflation continues to drop as it has for the last seven months? Economists are expecting the headline CPI to, to have risen by a half a percent month over month in January, which is a notable jump from recent months. The annual headline number is projected to come out around 6.2% from 6.5% in the prior month. For those of you who may not know, consumer price index is a measure of average change over time in the prices paid by consumers for a basket of goods and services. It's used as a key indicator of inflation, which is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising. Food and energy are actually not factored into this number due to the volatile nature of both of these sectors. It's nearly impossible to use these numbers as they are so sporadic even day to day. But why does this even matter for the stock market investors anyway? Fed Chair Jerome Powell implied in his speech last week that the battle against inflation is in its early stages and that, quote, we will likely need to do additional rate increases. This has caused the market to recalibrate expectations for high interest rates this year. So yes, through that lens, there are some causes for concern if CPI comes in higher than expected. But there are some points that are worth considering. First, the January jobs report was surprisingly strong at 577,000, but that's not likely to be a continuing trend given the layoffs we're seeing. So expect a soft jobs report in February, in my opinion. Next, the Mannheim used car index also rose in January, but does anyone honestly think that used cars are going to experience a significant increase? I'm guessing not. University of Michigan's one-year inflation survey rose 4.2%, but this is mainly due to an increase in gasoline prices, which as we've already learned, isn't heavily weighted when it comes to rate hike decisions. There is also a lot of angst about the reweights in the consumer price index, which made housing a larger component. However, housing is expected to weaken sharply in 2023, not strengthen. Finally, the January consumer price index could be hot with an expected increase of 0.3% versus the street's estimate of 0.4, but a significant portion of the components in the index are actually in deflation. So. Are these data points truly the cause for alarm or are they just a temporary blip on the radar? I think they're just a blip. And February is likely to see a lot of noise, like the sky is falling, pull all your money out, the end is near, we'll probably see more Michael Burry videos, I can't stand all those, <laughs> whatever. It's not in my opinion. And take a look at this video here to learn why I think 2023 is actually set to be an amazing year for stocks. Until then, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and folks, as always, I will see you all before the bell and be Smith is out.